today I'm going to be showing you how to tag your rabbit fur. And if you're wondering why it's small, I just trimmed it up so it looked better. Because it looked all weird and weird and stuff like that. So first, the thing you want to have to do is have some table salt like this. And what you want to do is you want to sprinkle it about a quarter of an inch on the fur like this. And you sprinkle it on the whole fur. Make sure you get the edges too. So... Uh, it's not left out because then when it's done being tanned if you don't get the edges or some spots with enough salt it'll uh, it won't be tanned there it'll just be like this kind of it'll look like this still so that's why you want to get all of it just like a quarter minute so I'll do a cut to where I'm done with all the salt on so after you done putting all the salt on it should look like this Pretty much the whole fur covered up and I forgot that when you put the salt on it doesn't tan it it dries it the egg yolk which you see later in the video it tans it it does this just dries the fur out like I'll show you in the next part of the video so I'll see you in the guys so I'm continuing doing my rabbit fur so what you want to do after you left it for 48 to 72 hours is you take it and you get all the salt off so it looks like this and then what you want to do is just do this for like three to five minutes and get all the extra salt off as you can. What you want to do is take two eggs and get the egg yolk only into a bowl or something that can hold it. And then you want to stir it up like this for a second. And then after that, you take it and you just put it on the thing like this and just spread it out all around the whole thing. So I'm going to continue doing this, so I'll see you when I get done. So what you want to do is after you're done putting all the egg yolk on around all the edges, make sure you got it on all the edges, and try not to get it on the fur, because you're not supposed to. So what you want to do after that is get a, a wet towel like this, big enough to cover the fur, and just lightly lay it on top of the fur like this. And then with the extra edge, you just fold it like this over this extra fold over so this is what it should look like when you're done doing it oh and I have another one on the go right in front of me just there so I got two getting tan right now so that's how you do this part and I'll show you how to do the next part in just a second for you so I'll see you when we get there hey guys so it's the day after and I left my rabbit for overnight so what you want to do after you left it overnight to get soaked in the egg yolk, you want to take the wet towel off and then put this in um, a bucket, a bowl, or a sink of water and rub all the egg yolk off, get as much off as you can and it should look like this sort of, kind of like this. Might look a little different. So after you did that, this is what I do. I take a brush and I brush the fur so it's all soft and what happens, it looks like this in the end if you brush it. So I would recommend you brushing it because it's really soft. So after you brush it, that's pretty much all you have to do. And that's pretty much what you have to do to tan your rubber fur. So I'll see you guys in the next video.